Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial on WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users by Perfect Web Solutions. My name is Imran Kasim and in today's video tutorial we are going to see that how can we manipulate uh, uh, related products shown on single product page. Uh, let me show you what I mean that when you open your website and as you know we have installed it on WooStore on the local machine WooStore shop page if when you go to the shop page and select a single product any uh, any product I will click on any product and then you will see here you may also like and related products in this video tutorial we are going to manipulate this related products and we can like we can remove it we can make number of products shown here we can increase it we can decrease it as well as i am going to show you that how can we add this option inside woocommerce setting as i have already created another video tutorial of extending uh, woocommerce by adding uh, so that you can add an extra option inside the products tab if you go to products tab you can find customized shop page this is a custom made uh, menu which I created in that particular tutorial and here you can see you can show number of products per row and number of products per page which you can change from here so I will also show you how can we add another checkbox here that when it's checked it that front end will not show let me show you when that button is checked uh, sorry checkbox is checked then it will not show this related products here but if it's unchecked then the related products will be shown here so let's get started fire up your favorite ID uh, text editor mine is uh, of course uh, sublime text and I have already loaded the WooCommerce plugin for references and the child theme which I will modify the function from where I will modify the function inside fun functions.php file so if I open this page and in my plugin what the file shows me that it is same single product.php file to show this single product page so I will move into the single product page template single product page as yet this one is single product.php file and here it shows that it's loading template part of content single product so I will move to the content single product and in this particular file you will see that these are the function hooks and these are the hooks this is a hook and this hook can execute these functions with these priorities shown at the end of each function and same like that this do action this hook will execute these three uh, functions so our concern is that it will show WooCommerce output related products this you know we are working on related products so WooCommerce made it very easy it, it they named every function and every uh, hook appropriately that you can easily find that what this function will do and this I can see and you can also see that this function will be responsible for showing um, or we can use this function to manipulate that related products so let's copy this uh, function which is uh, sorry hook which is responsible to execute these functions so I will copy it from here and in my child theme function.php I will simply paste it here and after that I will use remove action function and then after that sorry that file is closed and uh, let, let, let me content single product uh, content product at a single product and then I will copy uh, this WooCommerce output related products and copy this one put a comma here then the single quotes or double quotes whatever you want to use put WooCommerce output related products here then again comma and see what priority this function have it have 20 so you should put 20 here then save this file and reload the page and you will see that this related product is gone and it is not anymore here know what that is okay we have removed it but what if we want to manipulate it like, like we want to show 
two products here. We want to use four products here. So how can we do that? So for this particular thing, we have first we will remove this remove action or we can just comment it out because we need to use it some time later. So I will go to again single product and I need to find this function where it is defined, this WooCommerce output related products, where it is defined, I need to find that place. So I have a smart editor, so I will just right click it, copy it, find, find in files, and here I will paste this function and find it. And after looking at the result, the find result, I found that this function has been defined here for WooCommerce output related product on line number one, two, three, four of uh, WC template functional.php file. So I just double click here where it selected that and it will take me one, two, three, four line number. And as you can see, this function only take an arguments of array in arguments, array of arguments, and then it filter those arguments against this function which is created beneath this WooCommerce output related functions. And this is the function which is showing the related pro, uh, .php file in the single product. So either we can modify the related .php or we can, I think as I have told in my previous tutorial, we will take advantages of, advantage of filters and hooks, action hooks. So here I can see that it is applying a filter on product orgs where it is accepting for post paro, for columns, and order by random, mean random order. So we can add as many as parameters we want here and then we can filter it out. So let's copy this apply filter from here, paste it inside of your functions.php file and remove this apply filters and change it to add filter. Again, remember add filter and apply filters. Apply is a plural, apply filters is a plural and add filter is a singular. And we will replace arguments with another my custom related product products function. So I have created this function with you can get uh, uh, for the filter uh, we don't need any priority that they will filter it out. So function and just I will copy near this and here we will put arguments as you have seen on the original file wc template functions file it is accepting the parameters arguments so i have to put arguments here as well which will return those arguments to the uh, to this uh, sorry to this function where it accept here and will manipulate and will show the result so arguments my custom related and here we can use like copy these arguments here and then we can we can just manipulate this as we want it so we can return these arguments and let's save this and reload the page and currently we have four products one two three four and so we will use here we said two posts per page and two columns need to show and order will keep it random you can find and put as many parameters as you want and now you see we have only two products here shown and if I change it number of products per page to one and then we execute uh, sorry this one and it will show only one related product so i hope you understand what it means now now we will add this function inside this uh, customized shop page inside here so that a user can uh, by himself enable or disable this uh, related product so just let me remove this uh, filter so that we we will use the normal uh, display of the products uh, related products and we have 
get back to the normal display where it's showing three products and next what we will do is that I will add this customizer here option here copy this one and paste it here again and then I will name it show hide related products and for the description I will put here show or hide related products on single product page and I will name it as well WC show hide related products and the type here we will use check box and max will let it to be type the number we will change show slash height related products save it before implementing any functionality let me reload this page and show you that this small snippet works and it is already by default checked that we have we are showing those related products here uh, so let's go to the function and I will create here that function will so <coughs> I will add an action here first same after single product summary and comma my related products custom function here comma no this one have priority of 20 so I will check this one before this execution so I will put it 15 here and then I will define the function <laughs> as this is the action we don't really need to put any arguments here so just function and then we will put a check is equal to get option and the option is this one uh, this ID the name and ID will be the same so I will put it here and let it to be false so it will not echo it out and then I will check if dollar sign check then execute this function uh, this one so execute this function if check and also we say check is equals to one then it will execute this or even if it's one it, we have put here if check we can before that we can check that if is set check is being set to a and check is true then execute this function otherwise don't execute and the priority is same so I will save this so reload the page again and let's see the products are military products are gone and if we uncheck this and press save but changes you will see they will be shown here again uh, sorry I think they were I missed add action and check is equals to one yeah and it's equal to one so whatever is the condition it was removing check so when I will make it checked and now it will hide these products hmm the strange if dollar sign check so it's gone again check reload the page reload so let's see if we can echo it out and see what's wrong with it because I'm not sure echo check and it will show the no it shows no 
so it is yes or no so if is set check and check is equal to yes and then remove action so let me is equal to and what's wrong with it if oh sorry i have to remove this and then reload the page it is it was not zero one it was just now so here the products are shown and if i check this one now it should be no so they are gone again save changes reload page and for understanding purposes we can name it uh, rather than show hide we can call it only hide products hide related products show our hide just make it hide and save it then we load so we can understand that we need to hide or we need to show so this one is so this concludes this tutorial and i hope you like this tutorial please do like this if you liked it click the like button and do subscribe for upcoming videos on wordpress and woocommerce for intermediate and advanced user so it's time to say goodbye thank you very much for watching this tutorial till then take care bye